Hey everyone, I'm Jake with JP Audio, and today we're going to talk about how to route audio from different applications on your Mac using Universal Audio Virtual Channels. This can be really useful for those who want to record audio from applications like Spotify, YouTube, or any application on your Mac. It's also useful for routing audio from multiple places to use as an audio input for software like OBS or Discord. Additionally, virtual channels give you the ability to use universal audio plugins as insert on your Mac audio output and gives you a lot more overall control. Also, let's make sure we have our virtual channels set up properly in console. To do this, hit settings in the bottom left corner and there are device options under the hardware tab. At the bottom of the options window, you should see a slider that lets you choose to add more DSP pairs, which enables more plugin processing with minimal latency. But to route our Mac stereo audio through our Apollo interface, we need at least two virtual channels. The number of virtual channels available will depend on how much total DSP power your Apollo has. When we move over to the I.O. matrix, we can see our virtual channels are active in both the input and output sections. This corresponds to the ins and outs you would send and receive audio with in your DAW if it's not labeled already. Next, we need to choose our virtual channels as the output for our Mac. Let's open Audio MIDI Setup and select our Apollo interface, labeled Universal Audio Thunderbolt. And then click Configure Speakers in the bottom right of the window. Under the Channel dropdown, let's change our left speaker Mon L to Virtual 1 and Mon R to Virtual 2. Then we need to hit Apply, then Done. Now, all of the core audio from your Mac will be routed through this stereo track that you have a lot more control over in console. You can solo, mute, change the volume and panning, as well as add plugins to your audio output. And the main benefit of this change is that we can now route this audio anywhere we want, both in console and across our Mac. Check out my other video on fixing issues with Apollo interfaces and Discord. I used Loopback, which is a software that expands how we can route audio across different applications even more. Let's test this new setup by launching our DAW of choice and making a new stereo audio track. In Pro Tools, for example, you would create a new stereo track and set its input to the virtual channel you want to use. Next, launch the application you want to record audio from. For this example, I'll just play whatever's paused in my music app, but you can use any browser or application that uses your default audio output. You should see the virtual channel metering and hear the music through your speakers or headphones depending on how you have console configured. If you don't see any audio, make sure the application is playing and that the fader is turned up and unmuted in console. Once you have verified that audio is coming through the virtual channel, you can now hit record and print audio straight into your DAW. This method can also be used to route audio from your DAW or console to other applications. For example, you could route the output of your DAW to a virtual channel and then use that virtual channel as an input for a streaming application like OBS, Discord, or even Zoom. For this to work, you will need to swap some inputs and outputs in console's I.O. matrix so that the pair of virtual channels you set as your output in audio MIDI setup are the first two channels of your interface. In my case, I used virtual 1 and 2 for my output and I have an Apollo Twin, so your matrix may look different depending on which product you have. All I did was switch my two analog inputs with the virtual channels on the input side, so now these are on 5 and 6. For the output side, I switched 1 and 2 with 5 and 6 again, but that means we will have to reconfigure our audio MIDI setup because the output channels have changed. Now that your designated virtual channels are in the first two slots, applications like OBS and Discord will be able to input all of your Mac audio. In summary, using Universal Audio's virtual channels feature can be a useful tool for recording and routing audio. With just a few simple steps, you can record audio from any application on your Mac and integrate it into your DAW workflow. I'm Jake with JP Audio. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more audio how-tos, demos, and reviews. Thanks for watching.